بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لمجمون إلى ميقات يوم معلوم ثم إنكم أيها الظالون المقذبون لاكلون من شجر من زكوم فمالون منها البتون فشربون عليه من الحميم فشربون شرب فشربون شرب الحيم صدق الله علي العظيم Tenth class spinal cord is the part of the nervous system and lecture number 20 in the lecture number 20 I will advise you I will tell you that spinal cord is also very important if you are going to study brain in much detail we should must not ignore spinal cord in reference to examination also in reference to functions of the body also so spinal cord if you see the spinal cord that consists of dorsal pathway and the ventral pathway what is the spinal cord spinal cord is the part of the cns central nervous system consists of two matter when you will do cross section one is the gray matter one is the white matter gray matter is you can see the gray matter here you can see the gray matter here you can see the white matter here these two matters are present in the cross section of the central nervous system out of these two gray uh, out of these two matters gray matter is more important because gray matter consists of the cell bodies and cell bodies i have to tell you according to my promise of course you are waiting that how the cell will identify which cell bodies are present in gray matter and these wires this axon and the dendrites when the cell will label of course i will label today these all dendrites and axon and you will know exact methodology of reflex action today the action which take place without the brain such action is called the reflex action and we know that reflex action the brain is not involved this is a, a machine human body is a machine that brain decide the message but sometime when the brain uh, brain is uh, away from an, an, any emergency situation now you will be also thinking why the spinal cord is present in the body from the top position to low position why why it is present reason that here the brain can decide but some emergency situation spinal cord is the part of central nervous system sub office of brain small office of the brain so spinal cord also small brain because that is the part of the central nervous system so two pathway one is a dorsal pathway one is a ventral pathway so i am going to tell you about the neurons which are involved in their pathway with with their complete labeling okay you are attentive now you must take a pencil and copy if you can identify on the screen you can use also if you have mobile you have computer i will identify you and you will see exactly the pathway of the neuron moving from the receptor to the effectors okay Jim. here are the receptor clear so what is happening which neuron will arise from the receptor recall my previous lecture which neuron will arise from the receptor sensory neuron of course sensory neuron will move from the receptor to the central nervous system of course so from receptor to the central nervous system that is okay that is okay because you studied receptor to the central nervous system this neuron will be sensory neuron question sir uh, uh, problem is that you was talking that the receptor uh, from the receptor the sensory neuron will carry the message from the receptor to the brain here the receptor is carrying the message uh, sensory neuron is carrying the message from the receptor to the spinal cord so this is amazing this is not good i will tell you students spinal cord and the brain they are the same thing that's why i was dividing central nervous system under one division that was the division that cns equal to brain plus spinal cord so brain and spinal cord collectively called as central nervous system so we need don't need to confuse the message is going to brain that is also the cns the message is going to spinal cord that is also the cns of course there are some messages which goes directly to the brain by cranial nerves and some messages goes by spinal cord to the brain but some messages do not go to brain and the message is decided by the reflex act by the reflex action itself by the reflex action and spinal cord will decide the message in reflex action receptor so one thing is clear you agree with me this is sensory neuron you agree mathematically you agree 
according to definition you agree with me that the sensory neurons start from here and sensory neuron finish here okay sensory neurons start here and finish here clear clear you agree with me do you agree with me why this is receptor and this is the cns clear so this is the sensory neuron clear this is a sensory neuron once again sir why this is sensory neuron because it is carrying the message from the receptor to the central nervous system what is the definition of uh, sensory neuron from the receptor the sensory neuron carries the message from the receptor to the central nervous system central nervous system equal to brain plus spinal cord if the message is going to the brain that is also correct the message is going to spinal cord that is also correct so sensory neuron is moving to the spinal cord in this case in this figure agree okay ji now we see what is that uh, i finish this labeling i start once again labeling okay ji receptor and this this is the sensory neuron now look at there the line which i showed and then this what is that what is that i am watching your answer i will see that you will be able to identify or you will not be able to identify that is very good thing if you will identify yourself of course this is the cell body of course this is the cell body so what is the cell body this circular part is the cell body and cell body is getting the message from the dendrite from the dendrite d e n d r i t dendrite is carrying the message to the cell body dendrite is carrying the message to the cell body it mean this structure of sensory neuron start you will understand the uh, the structure of sensory neuron also by this way look here once again receptor receptor i will start from the receptor this is sensory neuron clear sensory neuron and this is which part dendron yeah you are very good person because you are telling dendron you are not telling the dendrites why you are not telling the dendrites because you know when many dendrite dendrons are there that is the many dendrons are there that is the dendrites and dendrites are present in case of which neuron motor neuron you studied three lectures back the structure of sensory neuron structure of the motor neuron and you was identifying the motor neuron that motor neuron has small fibers and the motor neuron has the small fibers small outgrowth of the cell bodies these small outgrowth of the cell bodies are called as dendrites and the long fiber of the cell body long fiber in case of motor neuron that motor that is called as axon so this is the small outgrowth this is the small outgrowth that is a dendron dendron because it is a single and that is the cell body cell body is visible to you and then goes to long fiber long fiber axon axon understand so what will happen dear students this is a axon this is a receptor receptor will goes to message will goes to cell body and message goes to cell body by dendron d e n d r o n dendron and then the cell body the from the cell body message goes to the message goes to gray matter gray matter gray matter mean that the message which is going towards the spinal cord so do you observe, do you, did you observe one thing what what is the observation cell body of sensory neuron present outside the spinal cord i am telling you much significant points and three four points will be very important in this session if you will understand these points you will be able to understand the inner anatomy of reflex action and the spinal cord one point i already told you what was the point what was the point the point is that cell body of sensory neuron is present this is the cell body do you agree with me this is the cell body okay this is the cell body cell body of sensory neuron is present outside the body is that clear okay ji now i draw the diagram once again sensory neuron start from here this is the dendron dendron one one outgrowth one outgrowth of cell body then comes the cell body and cell sensory neuron cell body not present inside spinal cord so this is the point first point i clarified now go back the next long fiber will be the axon so axon will go i want your attention because these are very minor things and i will be slow i am going to repeat each information again and again little a bit figure become little clear then i will start telling you it is clear now now i can tell you what is that this was axon of which neuron sensory neuron which pathway it is adopted 
dorsal pathway this is the dorsal pathway what gt road the sensory neuron is using which motorway the sensory neuron is using dorsal pathway back side pathway it is going this is also question sir why sensory neuron use dorsal pathway and motor neuron use motor motor neuron use ventral pathway did you see the motorway the one side traffic and two side traffic at the two side traffic were one side traffic were going on at one side uh, the traffic in one direction will be going on in other side the drag traffic will be going on in another direction reason if they will use both directions in one road accidental chances are there similarly if the both neuron dorsal pathway ventral pathway will not be there and both come by dorsal pathway accident between these two neurons will be there so better with a one side traffic that some type of neurons pass through the dorsal pathway and some neurons pass through the ventral pathway i am here now here what is the what is the point here x zone this is x zone long fiber long fiber this is long fiber so when long fiber come when long fiber come it ends at it ends at gray matter it ends at gray matter students uh, i want your attention please because i told you when the neuron finish one gap will come i told you when the neuron will finish one gap will come this is the gap i was talking about this was the gap i was talking about you are you watching the gap this area is very important neuron axon is coming then gap is there this is the gap this is the gap and then this gap is called as synapse synapse the gap then which neuron come which neuron come okay stop here you tell me this matter is called as gray matter this matter is called as white matter clear and this gray matter is why important because gray matter consists of cell bodies of some neurons you are asking that sir cell body of sensory neuron is not present inside the gray matter of course a cell body of sensory neuron is not present but cell body of other neuron also present they are present now you are thinking sir what is name of this neuron which come after sensory neuron which come after sign this is gap what is the gap gap is the link between one neuron and another neuron mean that one neuron is finishing and other neuron is starting and the message will go from the one neuron to the another neuron by the synapse so what will happen from sensory neuron message will go to the neuron which is in the spinal cord now i will stop here and i will ask one question to you i was talking about the number name of the neurons which are present in the central nervous system did you know the name of the neurons which are present in the central nervous system of course you know of course you know what are the name of the neurons which are present in the central nervous system yes yes associative neuron another neuron of this name interneuron yes so these are the interneurons so what are the interneurons the neurons present in the gray matter sir neurons present in the central nervous system are called interneuron you are telling neurons present in gray matter is called interneuron so i will tell you gray matter is the part of spinal cord okay brain is a brain is a part of brain is a part of central nervous system spinal cord is a part of central nervous system in the central nervous system all type of neurons are called as interneuron so why this is called interneuron because spinal cord importance that is the part of cns central nervous system brain and spinal cord and the neurons present in the central nervous system are called as interneuron so these are the discussions now i am telling you this neuron very important interneuron why this neuron is important why this interneuron student is important because this is a neuron which will decide because this is the neuron which is present in the central nervous system in gray matter of spinal cord and in the brain of the spinal cord this is the neuron which will interpret the message this is the neuron which will decide the message this is the neuron which will decide that in emergency situation the interneuron will send the message to brain or it will decide itself these all decisions are based upon these interneurons interneurons so now go back to interneuron what will happen this is the actually there is a mistake in this figure they did not show dendrites of interneuron okay so when neuron finish 
this is the neuron finish for example here then the synapse come then dendrites come dendrites come then cell body come then exon come right so this is the interneuron so we, this is the interneuron similar okay now look here there are dendrites there are dendrites here in this case there are little dendrites then cell body and then exon so this is interneuron sensory neuron motor neuron so motor neuron this is a gap synapse the gap between the two neuron is called the synapse then come the dendrites then come the cell body then come the exon i go back once again the dendrites the dendrites the outgrowth 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 these are the dendrites and then the cell body and then the exon so these are the middle neuron is very important because the middle neuron is going to decide the message interneuron is going to decide the message interpret the message and then what happened then what happened what happened after that situation that uh, after that which neuron come that is a question mark that after that which neuron come after that actual neuron which is come that is the motor neuron that is the motor neuron motor neuron m-o-t-o-r motor neuron so motor neuron is conducting the message from the gray matter to the effectors to the effectors now i will tell you what happens here the decision take place you are right now here the decision take place why it is decision take place because this is the mo uh, interneuron why decision take place because interneuron decide the message interpret the message after interpreting the message after decision of the message now the problem is this message must be conveyed why spinal cord is deciding message here why spinal cord is deciding message here because this is reflex action why it is reflex action because brain is not involved why the reflex action is taking place because emergency situation is there and your 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 finger is at fire or pointed object you have to raise otherwise brain will delay in decision because brain is little away so better you decide spinal cord decide and it will tell the brain little little later and brain will not say anything to spinal cord because spinal cord is also boss because this is the part it is also the part of my central nervous system so what will happen interneuron what is this what is exon of course so this is the cell body this is the cell body of interneuron before that dendrites he did not make i will make the dendrites here this is the cell body these are the dendrites and then come the exon so this is the exon you are understanding very very good you are understanding okay ji. now another gap come oh my god another gap come in gray matter another gap come what is the matter this is the gray matter another come another gap why gap come why the gap come because the another neuron is going to start after that another neuron is going to start after that what is the name of that neuron yes of course your loving neuron you like that neuron the motor neuron the blue color neuron and the gap come then dendrites come then cell body come unfortunately he did not make the dendrites of interneuron and dendrites of motor neuron so motor neuron also have the dendrites like that only sensory neuron is a different because sensory neuron has only one dendron so what will happen now the motor neuron has the cell body and that cell body will goes to exon and exon will go to effectors now the story is clear and effectors are muscles and muscles will contract and your hand will be given off mean decision of interneuron here the decision take place decision goes to effectors by the motor neuron and effectors are muscles and glands and your hand and will be moved up and by this way you your body will save your hand by deciding in emergency situation without the brain and the reflex action this is the ventral route this is the dorsal route last point of today's lecture students you are asking about the cell bodies present in gray matter i think everything is clear now just magnifying and it will be clear now one is the cell body of one is the cell body of interneuron one is the cell body of motor neuron so clear cell body of interneuron cell body of the motor neuron present in the gray matter and so where is the cell body of sensory neuron that is the only cell body of your body which is present outside the central nervous system so central nervous system consists of two cell bodies of interneuron cell body of motor neuron 
inside central nervous system mean inside cns mean inside spinal cord mean inside brain two cell bodies cell body of interneuron and cell body of motor neuron present outside outside the body the cell body of sensory neuron is present so lecture finished and i will come with the new informations in the next lecture